Hi, this is Bala Reva. Welcome to Bala Reva EA Path YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to insert and update the hyperlink in Excel using data table. Before that, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. Your subscribe makes me to create more videos and component. Already in the first part, I have explained you how to extract the hyperlink from the Excel. So we are going to use the same sample file. Let me show you. So this is our sample file. So here I have two sheets. One is write Excel, another one is read Excel. In the read Excel, I'm going to use this sheet to read the information from this sheet and load into a data table. Let us see. And I forgot to tell you one thing. So to do this, you have to install the package called Bala Reva Excel Activities. This one. Bala Reva Excel Activities and the version is 2020.3.3. .3. So now I'm going to execute the process. It will show what are the hyperlink text it has inside the Excel. So it will show into the data table. So these are the information we have in the data table. So display text is these things and the URL and which cell it has these informations. Okay. So I'm going to use these data and update or insert in the Excel sheet. Let us see how we can able to do this one. So I told you already we have to install the Bala Reva Excel activities. So when you navigate in the activities panel, you can able to see Bala Reva Excel and inside it has the activity called hyperlink add from data table. So this is the activity we are going to use and here you have to mention the file name. So this is the file name I'm going to use and which sheet you are going to use to write. So I'm going to use, I think it's a write Excel. Yes, I just do a copy paste. Here is write Excel and here you must have to specify the data table. So what is the data table we are going to use and the text overwrite I will explain you later. Okay, so now we are going to insert the hyperlinks from data table. So let me execute the process. So in the right Excel it's empty. So I'm going to write the cell A2, A3, A4, A5, these informations. Okay. So just close this data table. Okay, it's finished. Let's check the output. See in the right Excel, it's totally see in the right Excel, it writes the information from data table. So let us check it. The hyperlink, yes, it has. So this is the way you can able to insert the hyperlink using a data table. Second thing, here we have a property called text overwrite. What is this? What it does if we have any display text in the Excel file? In the excel cells it will not overwrite it but it will update or it will insert the hyperlink let us see a demonstration i'm going to use the same what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this column entire column and after that in the a3 i'm going to give uh, ui path community community okay in the third in the same third we have a revity and it has the hyperlink it's called revadi.com okay what it's going to do it's going to update that revadi.com hyperlink in the a3 because it will not overwrite the display text if any text exists in the specific cell it will not overwrite it just update the hyperlink let us see a demonstration okay we just save this one I'm going to change the text to override property as false. By default, it's true. I'm 
going to execute the process. Okay, these are the information we are going to write into the Excel. Only thing is, it's going to update the hyperlink that is revedi.com. Close it. Okay, it's finished. Let us check the output. See, here we have a Revedi, but we don't have the display text X Revedi because we specified that it should not overwrite. Okay, when we go to edit the hyperlink, see it's revedi.com. Okay, so this is the way we can able to update. And also, if you want to edit the hyperlink, you can use it. For example, in the revedi, because here I'm going to change uepath.com. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to use the same okay so let me execute the process okay let us check the output see it's updated the hyperlink so using this activity you can able to insert the new hyperlinks with the display text and also you can able to set the hyperlink to the display text and finally you can able to modify or update the hyperlinks to the display text in the part one already i have explained how to extract the hyperlink from the excel in the description i have included that link also thank you for watching this video have a nice day bye